Yo, what is up guys? It's Highcross, and welcome back to another stretch resolution tutorial. These are actually my favorite videos to make because you guys love them, I love making them, and I just kind of want to play on stretch resolution again. And there's actually a brand new version of CRU that is available, so I'm super excited to show you guys that in this video. So let's get right into it. And I'm actually going to do this a little out of order from what I normally do in my videos because I don't want to completely like screw you guys over because there's actually a step in this video that is needed. And if you guys don't have this one setting available, you won't be able to continue with this video. So I'm actually going to start off with that instead of having that be my second step, which I've done in the past. So starting off on your desktop, you guys are going to right click your desktop, go to show more options if you're on Windows 11, and then locate your NVIDIA control panel. You're going to wait until that opens. It's typically going to take one or two seconds. And once that opens, you guys want to start off under this display section on the left-hand side. Go to change resolution. And after that, you're going to go to your choose the resolution section. And make sure you have your native res selected. My native res is 1920 by 1080. Yours should be the same as well. Make sure your refresh rate is what it's supposed to be. And then hit this little customize tab. Once you go here, if you see any custom resolutions located at the top here, make sure you hit this little red X button. It's going to be over on the right hand side. Make sure you exit out of any custom resolutions that are currently made and hit apply. That will completely get rid of those. We don't want any custom resolutions at the moment. And then very important, this enable resolutions not exposed by the display. Make sure that is unchecked and then hit OK. That is step one. After you guys do that, you guys are going to head again to this left-hand side under the display tab and go to adjust desktop size and position. Now, this is the most important step of this whole video because a lot of you guys aren't going to have this if you are on a laptop um, and other things. So let me get to that right now. So right here for apply the following settings, again, make sure your main monitor is selected. For select the scaling mode, right here you guys see that I am on aspect ratio. For stretch resolution, we want to bubble in no scaling. That is very important. Make sure no scaling is bubbled in. Then when you see perform scaling on, you see that I have display selected. You guys need to have display selected for the CRU method to work. As you guys can see, there's also an option to have GPU selected. You do not want this. And the sad thing is, some of you guys are only going to have that GPU setting as your only option. So if you guys see that, that is most likely due to you guys being on a laptop, um, you don't have an HDMI cable plugged in, or you simply have like an out of date gaming monitor. So if you have any one of those three things and you notice that you only see GPU there, sadly, this is the end of the video for you guys and you cannot use the CRU method. And you're simply just going to have to use a different method to get stretch resolution. You could do that by simply going into the game files and stretching it. However, the CRU method is going to give you the absolute lowest delay possible and just make your game crazy, crazy smooth. So if you do see GPU scaling, make sure you do not select that. Make sure it is on display scaling. So that is all you guys need to do in your NVIDIA control panel. Make sure after you select no scaling, you go down to the bottom right hand corner and hit apply. Um, and then it's going to ask apply changes. Just make sure you hit yes. And you guys are going to hit this little red X in the top right hand corner. And we are officially ready for step two. All right, boys. So step two, which is normally step one in my past other videos, we are going to head down to the search tab in the bottom right hand corner. And we're going to type in percent temp percent and we're going to hit enter. That will bring up our local temp folder. I'll blow this up for you guys. You guys want to hit this little local button at the top here, and you're going to hit the F key on your keyboard. That'll bring up Fortnite game. You guys want to go into Fortnite game. You want to go into saved. You want to go into config. You want to go into Windows clients, and you're going to see game user settings right here. You're going to select it once with left click, then right click it, and go to properties. Now, as you guys can see, for game user settings, under attributes right here, there is a read-only section. Make sure that is unchecked. Just leave it as is. If it is checked, make sure you uncheck that. Hit apply, then hit OK. And then we are going to double-click to go inside game user settings. And I'm also going to blow this up. We're going to scroll down until we find our active resolution. And there we go. Okay, so you should see your resolution on here four times. We have all these resolutions, and we're actually going to change this to our new desired stretched resolution. For the sake of this video, I'm actually going to go back to a stretched resolution that I absolutely love, which is actually 1656 by 1080. You guys can feel free to copy that if you'd like. Um, other common stretched resolutions are 1720 by 1080, 1750 by 1080. Uh, 1800 by 1080 so you guys could feel free to play around with whatever you'd like or if you guys want to copy my video exactly you can copy it by doing 1656 by 1080 so yeah so all we're doing right now is changing our resolution size x so we got those first two there then we're going to come down here and change it to 1656 
and change it to 1656. Perfect. So once that's done, that is literally all you guys need to do in your game user settings. We're going to go up here to file. We're going to go to save. And once that's done, you're just going to hit the red X and you're going to also close out of that. That's all you guys need to do for that. And we are officially ready to hop into our CRU. All right, boys, so now let's get right into the CRU method. So what I want everyone to do right now is go into the description of this video and hit the top link. That will take you to this monitortest.com website, okay? Very, very important. Once you guys are in here, you guys are going to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you guys see CRU-1.5.2. This is under older versions, okay? And I'm very excited because in the past, there was only CRU-1.5.1. So there's actually been an updated version, which should hopefully make everything a lot smoother, reduce delay, increase frame rate, stuff like that. So what I want you guys to do is just click on this and that will download a zip file, okay? It is going to ask you to extract that zip file and I want you guys to extract it. And then once you guys have extracted it, you should see a screen somewhat like this, okay? Where you see next to the CRU, if you guys are on Windows 11, you should see like a little blue screen to the left of it. Now, once you guys have extracted that, I want you guys to double click into CRU. Now, it's going to ask you, the publisher cannot be verified, blah, blah, blah. I want you guys to run this, okay? Now, I want you to minimize this screen, the CRU screen. You could actually just close out of that monitortest.com website. So now I'm going to move this to the left, and I'll make this a lot bigger for you guys so you guys can see. So now, all these next few steps are extremely important. Please do not skip ahead and follow each of these steps exactly how I do, because... This custom resolution utility 1.5.2 is just slightly different than 1.5.1. There's a couple things that have changed. So, very first thing you guys want to do is make sure at the top here, you see this little drop down bar. Make sure you guys select the monitor that you want stretched. So as you guys can see right here, I have one monitor plugged in. And of course, that is the only one showing up as active. However, if you guys have two monitors, three monitors, four monitors, etc., you guys are going to see a bunch of active monitors. Make sure you guys know exactly the name of the monitor that you want stretched. Mine is a Zowie monitor. It's the only one active. So I'm going to select that. Down below, you guys are going to see extension blocks. I want you guys to left click that once and we're going to hit edit. Now in here, we are going to locate under detailed resolutions, the native res with the highest Hertz possible. So we're going to go down here, 1920 by 1080, and you guys can see we have 239.760 Hertz. Okay. Now I want you guys to double click on that. That'll take you to this screen right here, where it's going to show you everything active, um, all this stuff like that. And what I want you guys to do is hit this copy button. Okay. That is going to copy all the data from this detailed resolution. Then I want you guys to hit OK. Then you guys can hit OK again. And then under extension blocks, I want you guys to hit delete all. Okay, that'll take away all extension blocks. Now on the left hand side here, establish resolutions, we have a bunch of things checked, I want you guys to hit none. All right, take those all away. Now for standard resolutions, what I want you guys to do here is just hit delete all. And then we're actually going to go to add. And so for standard resolution, we are going to hit this little drop down menu. We're going to scroll down and we are going to select the native resolution with the aspect ratio of 16 colon nine. Make sure you're, for your refresh rate, keep this at 60 Hertz. You guys are going to hit OK. Next up for our detailed resolutions here, what I want you guys to do is hit delete all. All right, so next we're going to hit add. And what I want you guys to do is hit this little paste button that is going to paste what we just copied from our detailed resolutions. Next, under this active in horizontal pixels, since we're only changing our horizontal pixels, what you guys are going to do is now put in your new desired stretch resolution. I want 1656 by 1080, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. Next, under timing, this is extremely important. In the past, I recommended that you keep it on manual. Now, I want you guys to change it to exact reduced, okay? Very, very important there. A lot of PC tweakers recommend doing this when doing uh, CRU method. PC tweakers like Paragon Tweaks, he's a great guy. Make sure you follow him on uh, Twitter if you can. Um, but yeah, exact reduced, make sure you have that. And after you're done, just hit OK. Now you will see everything should look like this, okay? We have no established resolutions, no extension blocks, that one standard resolution of your native res at 60 hertz and our new desired detailed resolutions of 1656 by 1080 at 239 hertz, or however high your monitor's hertz is. After that, I want you guys to hit OK. 
Now, for this next step, I want you guys to bring up that file with the CRU in it, okay? Now, in this file, the next step is actually doing Restart64. And once I do this, this will actually pause my recording. So I'm going to run Restart64 and see you guys after I'm done running that. All right, boys, so I just ran Restart 64, and you know that it worked when you kind of notice that you're on 60 hertz, and maybe all your colors are sunken in, and you may be worrying, like, what the hell is going on, but I promise everything is fine. That is actually what you want to happen. You should see this graphics driver restarted button thing right here. You're just going to exit out of that. We're going to minimize this screen, and yeah, my screen is completely sunken in of color. It looks really bad. What I want you guys to do is actually right-click your desktop, and you guys are going to go into display settings, okay? Once you guys open up display settings, I want you guys to go into advanced display. And once you guys are in here, make sure you have your correct monitor selected if you are running dual monitor. Again, I am only running one monitor, so only one is showing up. And you guys want to go into display adapter properties, okay? Once you guys have opened that, your display adapter properties. I want you guys to go into list all modes. And this is the big reveal. You know that stretch resolution worked when you drag this little bar down and boom, 1656 by 1080, 240 Hertz. That is exactly what we want guys. All right. So we're going to left click this once we're going to hit. Okay. And make sure you guys hit apply. All right. Your screen should go black for a split second. And it's going to ask, do you want to keep these display settings? Hit keep changes, hit OK. And yeah, my screen is officially on 1656 by 1080. It looks nice and stretched. That is exactly what we want. No black bars on the screen whatsoever. The only thing is, yeah, the colors still look really bad. And there's a simple fix to that. Just right click your desktop screen, go to show more options and go back into your NVIDIA control panel. Once that opens up, you guys want to go to adjust desktop color settings, and you can see that my digital vibrance automatically went back down to 50%, which is the default for this monitor. Just drag that back up to your desired. I usually run about 80% digital vibrance on my Zowie monitor. Hit apply, and boom. We are looking absolutely phenomenal. Screen looks great. It's nice and stretched, and everything worked. It did move around some of my apps. I don't know why it did that, but other than that, Everything worked. I hope it worked for you guys. I will also have a document linked down in the description below, which will answer questions for you guys if this did not end up working. You guys can also comment down below. I will also have another one of my videos that answers a lot of questions down in the description below. So there should be a bunch of resources for you guys in case you have questions. But yeah, I hope this video was of use for you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.